Hello, Gemini. How are my Gemini peeps out here in these streets? Cleansing the decks of any and all negative energy. Only beings of the purest water slot may seal this reading and give me advice. Seal this reading now in Yeshua's name. Amen and amen. Oh, and so it is. Therefore, let it be written. Therefore, let it be done. All right, Gemini, let's find out what is your person thinking about you? What's in their heart for you? And what do they plan to do about it with my Gemini peeps? Is my microphone on? It is. Okay, just checking. Checking, testing. One, two, three, testing. <laughs> XIV. I forget what this is in the elf deck. Hold on. Temperance. Wow, they think you're an angel. Gemini. You're an angel sent from God. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Uh, they love seeing you. Like this is their. This is this is. <laughs> it like literally makes their day. They are all up in their head over their emotions over you. Okay. Let's clarify. They think about you a lot more than they like to admit. To themselves even, Gemini. Judgment is what, Scorpio? So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Or a um, Sagittarius. So far, those are the majors. Clarify the temperance card, please. Whoa. Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. This person, Gemini, um, they think they could go the long haul with you. Like, they've thought about it, bro.
Clarify judgment. Five of Wands. They do not like it when other people flirt with you. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. This person has fillers for you. They have fillers. Three of Pentacles, clarifying the Eight of Swords. Yeah, this person you may know from work. Okay. They may surprise themselves and, like, in front of everybody, like, wink at you. And then they, like, don't even realize that they winked at you. And, like, everyone else saw it because they're the boss. Right? <laughs> and they just winked at you for no reason other than to wink at you. And it's like, you're like, it's so obvious they're crushing on you hard. Or they'll just, like, somebody brought ice cream, right? And they'll just bring a spoon to you and nobody else so that you can eat your ice cream. <laughs> like, this person surprises themselves how they act with you because they don't understand it. But it's your energy I'm getting, um, um, Gemini, because you are a literal earth angel. You have men do this to you all the time. This is nothing new for you. Right. All right. In their heart, we have the Seven of Cups, Ten of Pentacles again, different deck. What? What? And the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. So, they don't like you having other choices at work. I'm serious. Like, they know people throw themselves at you at work. They see men do it consistently. They say, they see men come up to you consistently and throw themselves at you. They may be your boss. And so they have to supervise <laughs> everything, right? Um, yeah, they don't like it. They don't like it. In their heart, they want to claim you. What? This is so crazy. Okay, clarify the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Cups. Oh, they may have overheard you say that you don't date people you work with. And that kind of bummed them out. They're, like, disappointed, bro, because they overheard you having a conversation with someone because they listen all the time. And they overheard you say that you don't date people at work. So it kind of, like, puts them out of the picture, right? And it also puts an end to the choices that, you know, that are throwing themselves at you at work, but... This person still is, like, disappointed, right? Um, heavy Scorpio. Because there's the, the death card is Scorpio. Let's see. Ten of, clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Four of Swords. They think they can somehow, like, convince you to date them. Anyway, you give them butterflies. They don't understand how... They're so mad at magnetically attracted to you because they probably don't understand what it means to come into contact with, you know, someone who is one of the 144,000. Um, whoever I'm talking to, you may be chosen. Uh, you are most certainly an earth angel for sure with the Tempers card coming out. So if you didn't know that, this is confirmation for you, sweetheart. And um, yeah, this person is really surprised by the way that they react to you because they... No one else makes them act that way. You know, they've always had control over their emotions and the way that they acted, but you kind of bring out this uh, other side of them that surprises even them. Okay. What are their actions? X11. One, one. Let me see what that is. And the elf deck. Okay. 
death again. Dang. Let me get some work because I don't know what that means. Maybe they know you're going to turn them down. King of Wands. And one more. The Tower? Shut the fuck up. Hold on, let me see. XBI. Pardon my language, guys. It is the tower. What the hell? <laughs> okay, before I tell you all this person's actions, I want to clarify. Again, with the butterflies, different deck. Um, clarify the death card, please. Nine of Wands. They don't want you to be defensive to them at work like they don't want you to be like no i'm not gonna date you because you're my supervisor right or no i'm not gonna date you because we work together you may have already you know you you just you know that that's no way no you it's n never date someone you work with right and this person wants to date you, okay? They feel really insecure around you. Like, you make them feel so insecure. And they don't even understand it. Because most of the time, they're very confident. They don't even understand how, like, their body reacts to you. How, like, you know, like I said, this person may have winked at you in front of everyone during a meeting while they're saying the... You know, they're the speaker in front of the assignment and you come in and they just stop everything that they're doing and wink at you. And everyone saw it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they don't even. And then they realize they caught what they did. And then they're like, oh, my God, what did I just do? You know, and you're just like, did he just wink at me? You know what I mean? Like, one of those things. Okay. Clarify the tower, please. Oh my gosh, the world card. Hold on, let me double check. It's the world. XXI. Lots of majors here. So we have all four fixed signs. We have Scorpio again. Heavy Scorpio in this reading. XXX. I. It is the world. Oh my gosh, this person like, they think the world of you, literally. I mean, they're crushing hard, okay? <laughs> Let's just put it like that. We'll just leave that there, Gemini. All right, if this isn't a boss, then, you know, uh, whoever they are, they are filling you. Okay, big time. Big time. And it's freaking them out because of the tower. Like, it's like a lightning bolt to their chest. They're realizing that you make them feel ways that no one else in their life has made them feel. But you're used to that because you are, like I said, a literal earth angel. Like, this happens to you all the time. Men literally throw themselves at you. Um... If you're a girl, if you're a guy, women do, right? So this is flow. Those who know others are intelligent. Those who know themselves are truly wise. So your advice from Great Divine Spirit is to just keep working on you, baby. Keep doing you. <laughs> that's where the winning's at. Okay, that's the lottery, baby. Stay focused on you and if this is a work thing, I would steer clear of it if I were you. Just because, you know, work things, you know, they're dangerous. And if you really like, you know, I don't know. I would just, 
Just be careful, Gemini, if this is a work thing, okay? But this person, like, literally makes, it makes their day every time they see you. Like, they, <laughs> they live to flirt with you. Like, it is their thing. They make huge gestures in front of everybody. Like, the other people you work with are jealous. You know, you're definitely favored. And that is just how it goes for an earth angel, you know. Um, we're used to that, right? All right. So, I love you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And check back later.